Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures coming around. you today with a um a yarn haul um lion brand i ordered this about two and a half weeks ago i think they had the sale might have been a little longer because i also had to order it and i had to wait about nine days to get everything so it might be going on almost three weeks ago so the sale is over but i thought i'd show you guys so that you could go to the lion brand www.lionbrand.com to their uh online store just to always to sign up for their email so you can always keep up especially when they have these clearances so you can take advantage of the next one so and to show you the kind of yarn that they have so let me share it with you guys okay I got this uh, one and I bought a lot like this is what I like to do I buy a lot of the same one like I never buy one or two skeins hardly anything if I can because I like to make big projects. I like to make ponchos. I like to make um, boho cardigans. I like to, I love boho cardigans. I'm on my second one right now. It's all white. Oh, I'm going to make a white hat for Christmas. It's going to be fabulous. Um, I like to make uh, ruanas. So um, I like to make shawls. So all that kind of stuff takes a lot of yarn. So one or two skeins is never going to do me any good. So that's why I just always think if I like that color, that color combination of that yarn, I buy like six to eight skeins. Okay. Because that will give me enough to make, like if I want to make a hat to match, if I want to make mittens to match, which whatever I'm making, whether it's a Rwanda or a um, Saatchi cardigan or boho cardigan or it's a um, poncho, I can always make mittens and I can always make hats to match. So, all right. So, I'm just going to show you how many I got of these. Just a second, guys. Sorry. I think that's all of these. Maybe not. Oh, I got a lot of these. Jeez. I might have to do a giveaway because I got a lot of these. Okay, so it came in packs of three. Okay, I'm going to show you guys exactly. So there's one, that's a pack of three there. So that's six. I opened this one up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these I got twelve. A lot of times, most of the time, I just got like eight of each or ten of each, but this one I like the color a lot, so I got 12. So look how pretty this is. I'll show it to you, then I'll tell you guys exactly. It's all, these are all acrylic yarns, of course. Look how pretty that is. Doesn't that so look like fall? Oh, I just think that it's so pretty. So fall-like. Look how pretty that is. And I decided at a dollar a skein, this was regular like five dollars a skein or something. Okay, so let me just read again. All this is Lion Brand. I got it from the Lion Brand website. Um, a dollar skein, so it's all the same there. This is a, this uh, colorway is called Mesa Print, and it is. I'm sure it's worsted. Oh, there's some wool involved in this. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. Okay, I lied. Uh, it's 100. At eight yards and it is are they calling it worsted wait I'm sure it's worsted I'm looking for the they're crazy okay they're calling this uh, a five bulky this is not a five bulky at all I've used I love bulky yarn and this is not bulky at all this is totally like a worsted weight anyway in my opinion that's worsted that is not bulky Okay, so I got 12 of those. So, I always can make a lot of stuff with this. So, like if I want with that, I can make um, a poncho and I can make a boho cardigan. Or I can make a poncho and a ruana. Or, so, anyway, love that. Okay, next colorway. Let me see if this is the same here. I think these are two different ones. Yeah. Okay, let me see what I have all together. Okay. Just a second, guys. Bear with me. I'm just trying to make sure I have quarry. Oh, this is all the same. You know what it is? Is when they when they um, wind up their yarn, the way they wind it up. Sometimes it looks a little bit different. Like it's not the same. Like these two didn't look the same. Don't they look different? They're both called quarry. This 
just a second. I'm just trying to check out something. Even the lot number, the lot numbers are the same. Okay, there is a dark, deep, okay, look at these two. There is a deep gray in there and this one that's not in this one. Look at that. And they're calling them the same damn thing. Anyway, I mean, if I put this in something like a Poncho Rowana or my Slashy Cardigans I like to make or my Boho Cardigans, it'll look, it'll, it'll blend all together because it's the same colors. Let me just open this up and see inside the dark. Oh, nope, it's the same. Look, inside, there it is. It's the way that, like I said, the way they wind it up so it looks different. So it's the same. But isn't that beautiful, though? I love that. You're getting all of these... Um, uh, light grays, dark grays, beiges, just all very neutral and natural and just so pretty. And that's what it looks, this is, like I said, it's the same, but look how pretty that is. But in the, in the center, see, you got all the dark stuff in there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, let's just see if everything's the same on this one as far as what everything is. Uh, 108 yards, a 5 bulky, which it's not, it is worsted. Um, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Cool. And they call this wool spun. This is wool spun and this is wool spun. Lion's Pride wool spun. And this is Lion's Pride wool spun. Okay. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, five of those. Six. I know I have a lot more. Yeah, I do. Because I really liked it. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, twelve of those. So 12 of that color. I think I spent altogether like $65, $70. You guys, when you see a dollar skein, don't ask questions. Just start buying. Okay, because now, now look at it. If I want to make a um, boho cardigan, it'll probably take me five or six skeins of this to make it because it takes me about 500 yards. Um, it may be, might be six skeins here because this is a little bit, um, the yarn... It, this yarn isn't as bulky as the yarn I'm using now. But anyway, five or six skeins, that cost me at the most $6 to make. You can't beat that because if I would have bought it at regular price, which was like five or $6 a skein, let's say it was at six, let's say $5 a skein, um, uh, that would have cost me $25. But instead it cost me $5 to make like a boho cardigan or a um, uh, poncho or a ruana. I mean... That's awesome. Okay, here's another beautiful color combination. Absolutely gorgeous. I kind of wish I would have got more of this one. Maybe I did. Maybe it's at the bottom. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight of these. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't that pretty? And these are the same. It's just the way they're wound on the thing. But look at all the beautiful colors. You got like beautiful uh, teals and greens and sage and some like uh, dark, uh, blue that looks kind of like a jean blue. It's really, really pretty. I really, really like that. So pretty. So I picked up... Um, Here's one, two, three, or here's six, seven, eight. And if I had my choice, I would have got a little less of this one and got more of this one. But you don't know when you're doing these things always. Oh, and let me see. I'm pretty sure it's all the same stuff. Uh, this is called Force Print. Did I tell you what the other one was called? I sure did it. This one right here was called Quarry Print. I think I said that to you. Quarry, quarry Print. Okay. And um, it's still the same Lion's Pride Wool Spun. So if I change that, I'll let you guys know. Um, again, this one's called Forest Print. And still the same things. 108 yards, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Okay. Next. All right. Let's go to this purple. Let me put some of this away so I can get some of this up here.
We'll just let that go. Okay, next I got... Let me just replace this here. Just a second, please. All right. Um, that goes over here. Oh, I hate that. I don't like my ball band to come off because then, you know, your yarn starts unwinding. I'll have to do something about that. Okay. All right, let me grab what I need on, out of this other box down here. Oh! Okay. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad I bought a lot of this. Um, this is the color here. I bought one, two, no, I bought six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, here we go. All together, I bought ten, okay, of this. Oops. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how pretty that is. That's going to be gorgeous. This can make something just absolutely gorgeous. So excited about this. So pretty. Love that. Um, again, uh, Lion's Pride Wool Spun. And they're calling this color Plum. Okay, now there's a little bit different things on this. This is 127 yards. It's still a five bulky, but it's not. It's worsted. And it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And that's weird that you get 127 yards. I wonder why. It's the same as the rest of these. How weird. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Oh. I want a boho cardigan out of that. That's going to be so pretty. And if you don't have a boho cardigan or a slouchy one, it's when you make that big, huge square, divide it in half, sew up for the arms, and then you stretch it out like this, and then you wear it like this, so it's kind of slouches in the back. So if you haven't seen it, you can look it up on YouTube, boho cardigan or slouchy cardigan. So I love them. This is my favorite type of cardigan. I don't even wear anything else as far as cardigans. I love it. Okay, um, let me put this away. Okay, next. Okay, this is gorgeous also. I bought uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. Okay. Um, this is the color. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a, I don't know, a mauve color. Kind of like a purpley pink, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, it'd be even cool to mix this with some of, like, mix this and this together. And then I have a lighter rosy pink down here and do something with all three colors. That could be gorgeous, too. Okay, and let me just read. Oh, and, the, and it fills. I was going to tell you guys, it's very soft. It's very nice. I haven't seen this specific one, this uh, wool spun in Michael's or um, Joanne's, which is weird. Maybe they haven't. I just haven't seen it. That's very possible. But anyway, it's nice and soft. Really nice. I like it. I'll tell you the yarn that I am loving the most, and I bought tons of it for $1.25 a skein a couple months ago at Hobby Lobby, was um, I love this yarn. That brand, I love this yarn, is the brand. Most people know that. Um, that's the softest yarn I've ever felt in my life. Like, that yarn is like, it, it's awesome. I love knitting. I'm knitting it right now. I love how soft it is. The next time, hopefully, Hobby Lobby has another clearance on their yarn like that, especially that I love this yarn, I'll spend 100 bucks. I'm not even going to think twice about it. I probably spent, last time I spent probably 75 I'll, sp I'll buy more because that I love this yarn. I I do love it. Okay, um, let me just see about the particulars on this one. This one was called Orchid. Okay, absolutely beautiful. And 127 yards. Um, 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So, Orchid. Absolutely beautiful. Love that color. So so pretty. Okay, next. All right.
again, I've really got to chill out on buying yarn because, okay, I have like, what I bought was I bought, you know when you go to a craft, a craft store or um, a, uh, a yarn festival or whatever, and on the wall they'll have like those uh, wicker baskets and they fill them with yarn? Well, I bought the plastic uh, baskets from Dollar Tree. And I bought, in, the, in that room where I have my yarn room, it's kind of like my yarn room slash um, art studio space because I do a lot of my, my mixed media in there. And so on the wall, I put those baskets all on the wall like you would those, um, those um, the baskets you normally see, but I use the plastic laundry baskets, but they're little round ones and they're just perfect and they fit on the wall and they look so cute. And I did uh, purple, teal, and pink. Purple, teal, pink, purple, teal, pink. So the whole wall is done like that in mass, and then I have all my yarn in it. It looks fabulous, you guys. But I'm running out of space. Like, I have filled up that whole wall full of yarn, okay? So I need to, like, calm down. The problem is, is I'm not, I'm not buying yarn expensively at all. I'm getting, I'm getting all these sales. I caught the, like, $1.25 a skein and $0.99 cents a skein at Hobby Lobby like a few months ago. So, and then before that, I caught another great sale at Michael's and before that, I caught another great sale at Michael's. So, I got to calm down with this yarn. Okay, thank God I like to do big projects. So when I do the white, it's a ton of the white. It's a ton of the pink, oh, thank goodness. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Now, I was hoping that this pink would have been like a more light pastel -y pink, but it's more of a rose pink and it's still gorgeous though look at this look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous it's weird because online it looked like it was a light pastel -y pink and that's what i was looking for but this rose pink is beautiful it's very very pretty and even has a little bit of a sheen to it and it's super soft like this feels oh this is a little bit different brand okay this feels even softer than the other stuff i that i've been saying i love it's heartland Lions brand. So this is Heartland. The other one was Wool Spun. It's really, really soft. And like I said, it has a little bit of a silkiness to it, like a satin look to it. A little sheen. Okay, um, let's just see the particulars here. Oh, you get 251 yards, you guys. Yes, please. Um, what else? Keep going. It's a, it's a four medium, so they're not saying that this is uh, bulky. They're saying it's worsted. Yeah, it is thinner than the other one, but not that much. Anyway, so it's number four medium, so it's worsted, a true worsted, but so is that other one was a worsted in my opinion. Um, I haven't been telling you guys the size needle, but it doesn't really matter. You're gonna use the needle you're gonna use with the project you're gonna do, and anyway. Um, and the color they're calling this is what? Denali? I guess Denali. That's a weird name for this color. I thought they would have said rose or something because it's just a very pretty pinky rose color. Okay, they're calling it Denali, you guys. That's weird. But like I said, it's, it's a worsted four, um, four weight, medium four weight. You get 251 yards and it's 100% acrylic. So, but it's really, really soft. I absolutely love it. Oh my God, it's so soft. This is nice. Okay, is that everything? I think that is everything. Okay, you guys, that's it. I feel like I got more. Well, I got a lot of yarn, but I got a lot of the same color, and I told you guys why I do that. So, because I hear a lot of people always say, um, whether, they buy, whether they're buying acrylic yarn or they're buying um, the more 100% um, wool or superwash merino yarn, I always hear people say, you know, I only buy one skein or two skeins. Well, the reason I only buy one or two skeins is because they're spending $15 to $20 a skein. So uh, that's understandable. But um, so if you want to make something, you know, of, something of substance like a sweater or a slouchy cardigan or Rwanda or whatever, it's going to cost you like, you know, 100 bucks or $200 because, you know, you're spending $15, $20 a skein. But, um, but even saying that, then you don't have enough when you want to make a bigger project. So that's why I always buy at least eight skeins but i try to buy eight to ten skeins and doing it at you know a dollar a skein uh yes please you can do it okay you guys i think that is it i do need to do a um i 
do do want, need to do one of my knitting podcasts, which I haven't done forever, because um, I finished. What did I finish? I made a ruana, and if for those who don't know what it is, then you can see what the heck I'm talking about. But I do need to um, put it on a board, and I need to uh, pin it and stretch it a little bit because um, it's kind of you know coming in on itself. Um, what is that called that I need to do? It's not called pinning it. You know, you stretch it on your board and everything. Why am I blocking? There you go, Angela. I need to block it. So I've been trying to, I need to do that. And I need to show you my Rwanda that I'm making. I need to show you my Sachi cardigan, which is all made out of white yarn. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's that I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Oh, and it's so soft. I can't wait for it to be done. Um, so I can share that. Um, I've gotten some other things too. I got a, a bunch of stuff. So I really need to do, oh, I made a bunch of washcloths, which I love. So I need to do a podcast, a knitting podcast. So I will do that soon. But I did want to share this with you guys so you guys can go to Lion Brand. And um, the sale is over, like I said. But sign up for their email so you know when they're going to clearance their yarns. Because obviously they when they clearance, they clearance well. So... And then just check over there, you know, periodically to see what's going on over there and see if they got any good sales going on or any good clearances. Okay, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. You give this video a thumbs up. That'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys next video.